So in this video of the unlikely scenario of Bernie Sanders being the Democratic nominee against Donald Trump, this only happens if Biden chooses not to run for president and no other progressive really stands a chance at winning. That's the only way I see Bernie Sanders enter the presidential scene, the run again, one last time, because honestly, this is literally the last time he probably could run before he gets way too old. So, <clears throat> let's just fill in all the safe blue states. All right, I think we're done here. Let's fill in Colorado and New Mexico because I think Bernie would appeal well to Latinos in these states. And South Carolina forgot. Okay, so let's start. Iowa, I think Bernie would honestly do pretty well here. Trump will only win this state by about four points against him, mainly because the partisan lean of Iowa is really hard to overcome at this point. It usually votes for Republicans by double digits nowadays, especially in the 2022 elections. However, in presidential ones, it's a lot more competitive, but I still think it would lean towards Donald Trump. Same with Ohio. I think Bernie could get it down to only a 4% win for Donald Trump here, but he still takes the state, mainly because uh, Ohio is still trending Republican quite a bit, but Bernie will do well with a lot of populist voters against Donald Trump. Well, the state of Texas will be about a likely state for Trump, but Florida just solid Republican. Florida's solid Republican mainly because... Floridians really do not like progressives, and they almost always lose in the state. They just have a history of that. Virginia would be a likely state for Bernie Sanders. It's very kind of an establishment state, so he wouldn't do as well as uh, other establishment Democrats, but he still wins it by about eight points against Trump. North Carolina, I see narrowly going to Trump by about 2%, because like, progressives don't really perform as well in the South. However, New England, Bernie Strong area, I think Bernie will be able to narrowly flip Maine second against Donald Trump because he does have a lot of strength in the New England region, and he'll probably win New Hampshire by about nine points against Trump, probably doing very well here because it is right next to his home state of Vermont, and Bernie usually does very well in New Hampshire in the primaries. In Nevada and Arizona, I think Nevada will go to Bernie Sanders. Bernie performed very well here in the state among Latino voters in the primaries. So I think usually a progressive Democrat will be able to win Nevada against uh, most Republicans. However, the state of Arizona would still only narrowly go to Donald Trump, mainly because they really don't like people who are very far on the left. They'd rather vote for someone far on the right, but it's still a swing state. It could go either way, honestly because of how disapproved Trump is in the state. The Brass II, I think, would go to Bernie by about three points. In the Rust Belt, I see Bernie doing well in Minnesota, and Michigan probably wins Michigan by about four against Donald Trump, while Pennsylvania and Wisconsin would also go to Bernie, mainly because I think Bernie's a lot more populist than Donald Trump, so he could probably outperform him in all three of these Rust Belt states and beat him. Plus, Trump just has terrible approvals among independents in all three of these states. So I think Bernie could really capitalize on that and convince those voters to vote for him. And even in the state of Georgia, even though progressives are really hated in the South, I just think Donald Trump's a lot more hated than Bernie Sanders in the state. Plus, Georgia's getting significantly more blue every election cycle. So I really do think Bernie could probably win this state by a narrow tilt margin. Surprisingly. I just think it'll probably happen if these two are the nominees. I just think a lot of voter turnout for Democrats will really help Bernie on the state. Plus, independents just have a hatred of Trump here. So I think they would even vote for someone like a socialist, like Bernie Sanders, against Trump. So that's my election pred prediction. If it's Bernie versus Trump, let me know. Think of it. Comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.